Right before that bilateral meeting, Marcos and Zelensky were at the Shangri-La Dialogue in Singapore. For political analyst Richard Haydarian, Marcos delivered a balanced speech during the forum. Here's an excerpt from his interview on The Big Story. President Marcos had the stage for the very first time. The Philippines had the stage for the very first time. And uh, conversely to uh, U.S. Secretary Austin, he made some very, very strong statements at the Shangri-La Dialogue. He did say, of course, the Philippines will not yield. We will defend the Philippines at all costs. Well, it, it, it looks like it's the same speech writer that he did also a speech for the Australian Parliament. Remember a few months ago, he was... Uh, for a state visit to Australia, and he made also the same, exactly the same thing. He said, Filipinos do not yield, and that what he's doing in the West Philippines say it's not a reflection of his personal preference, it's a reflection of his mandate to the Philippine people, especially when surveys are saying 70-80% of Filipinos want the direction, the current direction of our foreign policy, which is standing up to China, resisting the bullying there uh, in the West Philippines. I think in fairness to President Marco Jr., he tried to create a balance because he's very conscious. He's invited by Singapore, a country that tries to have a neutral relationship with both superpowers. You think he was also trying to appeal uh, for more support in the ASEAN region? Was that a uh, part of the strategy? Yeah, I, I think that was definitely part of the strategy to say to the rest of ASEAN, we are one of you. We're not America's deputy, uh, you know, sheriff in, in ASEAN. We, 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 we're not the troublemakers here. We're the one being bullied. We're the weaker party. Right. Uh, and I think China was not very convincing when they tried to paint themselves as the victim and as if there's an Asian NATO forming around them. That that is that is definitely not the case. So so I think China was was pretty poor in terms of his defense diplomacy, if any diplomacy at all. Well, I think President Marcos Jr. did a pretty decent job of trying to reach out to the rest of the region. But of course, the Shanghai dialogue is a global phenomenon. There are, there are representatives from France, from Britain, from, from Germany, from many countries all around the region. And I think Marcus was also trying to reach out to those countries. And if you look at the speech of Marcus Jr., it perfectly, um, you know, uh, drives and syncs with the speeches, keynote speeches by previous um, keynote speaker. For instance, uh, Malcolm Turnbull in 2017, who presented Australia as a bridging power, middle power, who doesn't want to be dictated upon by the superpowers. Speech by Narendra Modi in 2018. Speech uh, the other year by Fumio Kishida of Japan.